how many times you failed the pro firm challenge by thinking that you're gonna pass and you're gonna get the funded account and start making tens of thousands of dollars but that never happened and just because you wanted to get your hands on the funded account you ended up losing thousands of dollars while doing the challenges if this ever happened to you then this is the video for you because in today's video i'm gonna talk about how you can pass a pro firm challenge and this is going to be a realistic guide that's gonna help you pass the challenge get the funded account and also make profits on the account and receive your payouts however it's very important that you watch this video until the end and everything that i will share in this video you actually take those steps but just before we do that if you are new to the channel consider hitting the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and if you haven't joined my free telegram group where you can ask any question regarding prof firms link is in description many traders make simple mistakes when it comes to doing the challenge and the very first mistake that i also did back in the days is trading without a plan when you approach the prof firm evaluation and you don't have any plan that how you're gonna be passing the evaluation then it's going to be unlikely that you will pass it and become the funded trader the reason is without a plan success cannot come to you so understanding this is very important before you start the challenge i want you to write down how you're gonna pass phase one of the evaluation how you're gonna pass phase two of the evaluation and then once you will get the funded account how you're gonna be trading on the funded account now this plan it should include which trading strategy that you're gonna be using what is the time frame which is very important the time frame that you're gonna be trading on pairs that you're gonna be trading how much you're gonna be risking in phase one of the challenge how much you're gonna be risking in phase two of the challenge and when you will get the funded account how much you will risk on every single trade that you will take while trading the funded account after that once you write down these steps instead of having an unrealistic target in your plan you need to set a realistic target meaning once you're on funded account your target for the very first period should not be more than two percent why it should not be more than two percent is because i simply want you to first take your fee back which you spent for taking the challenge so let's say if you have spent 500 dollars for a 100k account and you completed the evaluation and go to funded account now with your first profit split you're going to be getting your fee back and when you will get your fee back to you then it will be a complete risk free so that means if you spend $500, not only you already have made two, three thousand dollars from the account, but also the $500 that you spent, it's refunded back to you. So your account is going to be risk free. However, it doesn't mean that after the account gets risk free, you start just randomly taking the trades or start over risking and over trading. You need to keep following the plan that you made before you took the challenge so without a plan it's highly unlikely that you will ever become successful funded trader the second point of the cheat code is i want you to first do a small challenge now you have probably failed tons of challenges that's the reason you're watching this video because you need to know how you can pass the evaluation now every time when you look at these accounts 50 000 100 000 200 300 000 dollars you simply just tell yourself that you need to get your hand on the six figures account 100k 200k or 300k regardless of the fact that you never traded six figures account before in your life and once you start playing with those numbers your psychology is messed up and you are unable to control yourself by just randomly clicking buy and sell button all the time to take the trade and that too without having any risk management so if it's the case then you need to target a small funded account first so just take a twenty-five thousand dollar challenge you have a strategy that works you just wrote down the plan that how you're gonna be completing the evaluation and i want you to implement your trading strategy and your trading plan and your funding challenge plan when you're gonna be doing the challenge now on the twenty-five thousand dollar account because it's a small account and your risk is only going to be a couple of hundred dollars that you're going to be spending on taking the challenge you will be at ease because you will not be really worried that what if you will lose the account or you will not be really greedy that oh it's a 100k account it's a 200k account i really need to get this account so i can start making tens of thousands of dollars on a 25k account you're gonna be probably more chill you will have a calm approach when you will be looking at the charts and you will not be randomly jumping into the trades just because of the reason 
that you know that it is your start and $25,000 challenge account is the base that you're gonna be using to get the seven figures in funding. We need to set a goal for a million dollar at least in funding. So this 25K account, when you will be doing, you're gonna be implementing the funding plan that you made before you took the challenge. And you will see that whether you are following your plan that you made or not. So if you're following the plan and if you're doing your due diligence, you're analyzing the charts, setting up alerts, you have one trading time frame that you're going to be using. You know how much money, let's say 1% risk on phase one of the valuation. After you're up 3, 4%, then 1.5% risk in the next trades. So that way you eliminate the chance of losing the valuation and you make higher chances of you passing the valuation. So after you complete phase one, you're going to be doing the same thing on phase two, but with a separate, a different risk management that you made. So it can be 0.8% risk on a trade or 1% maximum risk on a trade. Now, once you have completed phase one and phase two, you're on funded account. Now, because it is a $25,000 account, so realistically, you will only have expectations of making one or $2,000 from the account, which is going to be like 4% if you're going to target $1,000 or 8% if you're going to target $2,000. Now, what I recommend that on a 25K account, just have a very realistic approach, like 4% profit target on the funded account after 14 days at least, or it can be after 30 days. So 4% a month is a very good return. So once you are getting that $1,000, you're gonna get 80% of the profit split. And with that, you're gonna get your fee back. It will be refunded back to you. Now this account is risk-free. So you will be doing the same thing, but at the same time, once you receive at least two payouts, then I want you to take a 100K or a 200K challenge account from the profits that you have made from the 25K account and do the same thing on the bigger account. Your goal at the end is to target at least a million dollar in funding and it's not gonna happen overnight. The reason why I said you need to make a proper plan that plan should also include how you're going to be reaching 1 million at least in funding. And it should not be the overnight plan. It should be laid down in the upcoming months, six months, nine months, or even a year. So you can just simply make a plan with some realistic goals that in the next three months, you're going to just get 25K for an account. Then after three months, you will have at least 100K in funding. Then the next three months after that, you're going to be looking to get 500k in funding. And then at the end of 12 months, your goal is to get 1 million, which firms you're going to be choosing, how much you are going to be risking, how much you have that you can spend on taking the challenge, how much you should at least get from the smaller account payout so that we can simply just use those profits as a risk in taking the challenges. Now, after this next step comes and that's when you take the challenge, you're going to fail it even though you have a plan, even though you have a strategy, and even though you have a risk management. The reason why you are going to fail is because simply you're going to be rushing out. You're going to be like, oh, I need to pass the challenge today. I need to get the funded account tomorrow. I have this XYZ bill pending and the only source of income that I have is trading. So I need to take out $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 from the funded account so I can pay my rent, pay my bills and have my expenses cleared. If that's the case, my friend, you are definitely going to be rushing out. So what I recommend, eliminate this thought process that you need to take out the funds from your account just because you need to pay your bills. If that's the case, then you need to look for a job because trading is unpredictable. You can have one profitable month and the next month or the next two months, they can be non-profitable. They can be losing months. So just solely depending on the trading income is going to affect you a lot, especially solely depending on the funded account payouts is definitely gonna mess up your lifestyle. You will be more stressed and you will be forcing yourself to take the trades over and over and over again just because you need few thousand dollars to pay your bills. And because of that, it's always gonna be ending in you losing the funded account. I'm not even talking about the challenge. I'm also talking about the funded account. So if you rush out, then you will always end up over trading and over risking. So you have to make sure that you eliminate the chances that's going to trigger you rushing out in order to pass the challenge. 
and just take it slow there are no time limits so you don't need to pass the challenge in one or two days or within 30 days now you have unlimited time as long as you're following your plan that you set and you're not over risking and you're waiting for the right opportunity then you're definitely gonna pass the evaluation if you just follow these three simple steps this is everything that you need to pass the challenge develop a plan that you're gonna be using start small and do not rush out now this may be very simple for you you may be thinking oh it's very simple we already knew it if you knew it then why did not you pass the challenge so far why you are not making 15 20 thousand dollars a month from the evaluation firms now i did my very first evaluation back in 2019 it was february 2019 and i have been with the evaluation firms for more than five years now imagine how many times i passed the challenge how many times i failed the challenge how many times i got funded failed the funded account got payouts failed the funded account got payouts every single thing is documented on this channel since june 2021 i have been in this industry for long enough to know the mistakes that you always make and how you need to approach the evaluation firm to get a funded account with a realistic approach so i just wanted to make this small video for you guys to give you the simple cheat code that's gonna help you pass the evaluation now of course you need to have a trading strategy for it you need to have a risk management you need to work on those things and without them you cannot even trade your personal capital and you can never make profits on that so i'm considering that you have those things that's why i did not mention about oh this is how you develop a strategy or develop a risk management and everything so i hope that you guys got value out of this video if you did leave a like and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment section what do you think is the best way in your opinion to pass the challenge and i will see you guys in the next video bye for now